Hi, it's Steve again. Uh, got a loaded unit and trailer. Uh, it's broken down in the loading bay while he's trying to get onto a bay. So he managed to limp it over to uh, to the side and uh, keep everything free flowing in here. The truck's coming in and out. So we got a loaded MAN. So it's electrical problem with it. And um, we're taking it back to uh, MAM in, in Reading. So uh, lucky enough, we've got no signs on it at all. So we're going to get it loaded and uh, take it back to the dealership. This is the entrance out, so it's not a bad angle where he's uh, managed to get it. So probably electric handbrake on this new AMM, so we'll have to uh, put that into service mode. Creeping under it now, so pre lift as usual onto some stands. I'll get the front end uh, lifted, chained down, and they'll probably do the half shaft next. And we'll go on to the airlines and whatever. A little bit of an angle where he was trying to get to. There's another truck in his way uh, this morning. But he says ideal really where he's got it for us to get out the gate. So I'm not going to complain about that. Yeah, TGX 26 430 this one. Just spin the wheel so the so the handbrake don't uh, hold on the front of these. There's only one pipe going to the brake chamber, which is a, which is a giveaway. They're dropping onto some stands now. Yeah, dealer's got another truck uh, that's been serviced for a drive to get into, so we're going to pull out the, on the road, drop the trailer probably, and uh, I'll take the unit in, and the driver can get the other truck from the dealership and uh, get it loaded. He can continue his round. Here we are, underneath the MAN. Metal guard to protect the sun. Oh, got some folks have been getting right up in that corner. Yeah, they go lovely up in there. Get right to the end. Save it sliding. Quite a nice looking track. Let's new grill on it, they got them now. Unfortunately, the electric handbrake, but they're not too bad to uh, take off on these compared to the Mercedes, I should say. A bit of a devil sometimes to get off, but quite straightforward the procedure. On the M, say, I'm on the MAN, same as the Scania and the Volvos. Indeed, there's a Kept it quite simple. All right. In a bit. There we have one. Make sure the other one's up there. Right to the end. The other side. It might have got just a little bit. Get it about right. Oh, you keep it as low as you can. You can go another cut, another inch or so, right to the end. Of it. Right. There we go. It's the axle sitting on the bottom of the fork. That's what we're after.
All right, lift it up. So I take that remote. Get some uh, chains on the front. Right, here we go. Oh. sides normally use slightly longer yellow forks on these yellow chains on these but just grab these small small forks and um, some small chains Half shaft will be uh, removed and will be on the offside on these. It's a little bit easier to get a, to pull the side opposite the diff lock. Boys, you've got to get past the mechanism when you're affecting the half shaft, which we will be doing at the other end. Or 22 mil, I think 22 half shaft bolts on these. Some blue roll as well. So we're just putting it the back of the half shaft up, safer. Just whacking it around it. I'll shop this down a little bit, be easier to hop over for a minute. It's all the air Susie's and that. I'll be swapping over in a bit. Right. This is the half shaft. I'd be removing, I only need to take one side out. The last minute, dump the old drain in out so we got a tray underneath. There we go. Do get a little bit of oil on these MANs, not too much, just say they're not roller bearings, so. Bit, a bit of blue roll, just a little bit of oil just in there. Yeah, so it's... Right. I'll 
bit of blue roll to catch the last little bit. Okay, we're not wheel nice and clean then. I'll put a bit of rag in the hole rather than a bit of blue roll then. Damn it, my chods. Right, okay. Sharp back in there. Hold it. <sighs> Fortunately, the half sharp holder, the, the little plate's not wide enough, so it tends to rub the paintwork. So I took a bit, a bit of rag under there. Stop that chaffing away a bit. Just going down the road. Right. There you go. Get a little white, I think it's fine. There we go. see our shaft there. Probably jump up in there now and uh, take the part break off. A dirty bit of the job done. Let's take my gloves off before I get on his cap. Drop that down a little bit. It will raise up once we take the brakes off. Right, clean hands. Right. Right, this is the electric handbrake. Air pressure too low. Right, so we're going to have to get an airline in this now before we can get the pot break off. That's the fridge kicking in there now. So with this we've got to run three lines into it. One for the tractor and two for the trailer. Yeah, mate, in now tends to be right at the back there. The airline to feed the tractor unit. It's a whole bank of uh, test points normally at the back. All right, let's have a look. Let's crawl under here. Where are they? Here we are. Oh. This is all the bank of test pit fittings and uh, got red uh, cap one and that should blow up everything on there. It's the one we normally use for towing. I hope you can hear me over this uh, fridge motor. It's not too noisy actually on these now. Let's try and screw that in. moment we've got the red Susie connected with the trailer so by putting air into here this will also feed the trailer as well I don't know tie here right in the back so all these separate test points to do the airbags and whatever and all these electric handbrakes there also is a test point over there we'll, we'll actually um, Take the handbrake off as well. If you have problems with electrics, you can't get the handbrake off. Right, let's put a cable tie around there, tied it up along the catwalk. Under these, 
is something happening here going in. Yeah. going up on the trailer here at Creek and a little bit at the back that pretty, hopefully that should be alright for a minute right let's see if we can get the electronic handbrake off now right right okay we've got the low air lights coming on low air pressure right Workshop mode now. Let's gently come off the foot brake. There we go. There we go, that's the handbrake off. Put his keys by his gloves. It's the air suspension button. We need to raise it the back, but we should be fine. Sometimes with a heavy load, it might give it a little uh, lift. Right, now, it should be able to roll now. There we go. Sometimes if the air does go down, it puts a part brake on the trailer, but we're uh, rolling nicely now. I think he's quite fully loaded. I think he's done a job earlier. A drop earlier, I should say. All right, just gonna stow this up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he don't seem very heavy. It moved quite easy on the stow. There we go, virtually in. And that'll do us for now. We'll leave that airline in there. we we'll get some, uh, Susie lines out. So yellow and red Susie. I'll probably put my uh, cordless trailer board on the back. That have my number plate and all that on the back as well. All right. This is the Susie lines. They were running all down the offside, which is handy. I can come off these two uh, points here. All right. I'll probably do the yellow Susie first. It does the service brakes. There won't be no air in the system on this. What can we hook this to? Where's the... Where we put that anywhere to put that to? I'll have to look at that in a sec. Get that out of the way. Alright, let's do the service brakes. Let's run our brake for my truck, the trailer brakes. There we go. Let's take the cap off. Right. So be air in this now. Shut off gently. <laughs> there we go. It's probably put the trailer brake on. I'd imagine the. I might have to take that off in a sec. Right. There we go. Gonna run them both this side on here.
for a sec because we need to put them in their storage. That'll just have to sit there for now. Right, we've got a part break on, on there or I can imagine that activated it when we release that. These vehicles limit to 50 mile an hour. That's a tray leveling valve. There's a part break. I might have missed it. forward see if it has come on and uh, I'll ask the driver should be fairly easy to spot might be up by the front of the trailer this on this corner which I can't see at the moment right I'll worry about that in a sec I think I'll get this uh, Airline sorted out first. <clears throat> this is where we're going to put the storage lines in. I'll just tidy this up here a bit. It can just <sighs> all right, that's locked in place. Right, that's our exit out. Get our cordless trailer board. So it's got a number plate on there, which we got to have. So the truck's number plate will be the same as the trailer one. Connect this all up. Yeah, it's got me where that part brake is. It must be inside that front of that trailer. Right, that's just nearly done. Just to see if that part brake's come on. See if I can move it forward a little bit. And locate it, let's have a go. Just gonna shove forward a bit, okay. Uh, your part brake, I couldn't no, uh, see your part brake on the trailer. No, it's on, on the other side. On the other side, I suppose, but that's why I keep missing it. It's on the front of the trailer, is it? Or over there? Yeah, on the... that's it, just on the end, on, see where the light. Oh, just... I see, well, you can't yeah. get to, oh. Hopefully it hasn't come on, anyone. Look, just pull forward and uh, yeah. we'll find out if it's come on or not then. 
night. Probably has come on. That's the thing. Over there. All right, we'll find out. We'll find out if it's going to roll. That's good. Everything's looking well. Right, just got to just straighten her up a little bit and tuck them uh, Susie lines. Right, okay. Check the lights. Right. Good. So give her a check over. All right. There we have it. probably get up here now. God, I still can't. I'm just gonna see where that is. That's where it is. Up. There we is, just holding on a little bit. Right. Gonna have to tuck them lines somewhere. So I'm not gonna... At the angle we're at, I'm not gonna get between the, the trailer on the unit. To make them safe. There we go. We'll connect them up here. Don't want them flapping around. Yeah, that's why I couldn't see the trailer break. It's where the trailer's box are tight to the unit the fridge anyway tie this up a bit going to slide underneath because that's connected to the trailer. There we go. Might give a little bit actually on the rear suspension. I think it's got a bit of load there. More load than what I thought. It's got a little bit on the air suspension at the back. I'm going to have to put the ignition on it. Hopefully it won't upset the Handbrake, I might have to reset it otherwise. Shouldn't do if I touch it. Alright. This went to right, just gonna give it a little bit. Stop button. That's it, still in workshop mode, that's good. So it hasn't come on. Electric handbrake, unless you touch the handbrake controls. And it, you know. There we go, giving it a bit more lift now. So as it's on the truck, should have hazards on me trailer board. Now, there we go. That would do us. Thanks very much for watching so far. And uh, so I might do a little bit of a filming, just, just get her out the gates and maybe at the other end uncoupling. So I've taken the driver with me. Right, thanks very much for watching for now. So we're just pulling out the depot now. He went through the red light. <laughs> Did he? He went through the red light. I thought, where's he coming from? You obviously don't like the colour red. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Catch that on film anyway. There we go. Makes you question yourself, doesn't it? <laughs> when you see somebody come at you like that. But Toe the beacons off.
pretty straightforward for me, so I'll shut the beacons down now. So you can run up the bus lanes this time of day through here. Might leave the camera on a little bit more, see if we can get any other people trying to run into us. Seat going nearly at us then. <laughs> All right, I think that'll do us for now, and I uh, might just do a little bit of uncoupling when we get to uh, MAN. Fairly straightforward journey onto the M4 now, so. So thanks for watching so far. Right, we're outside the uh, MAN dealer now. Uh, so the drive just gone in to uh, source another unit which they've repaired. So uh, we're going to drop the unit here and split it for him. So it'd be easier for him to uh, itch up out here rather than in the, their yard. He's facing the right way where he wants to go as well. So it makes it easier for me as well. So uh, makes it better all round. Right. Okay, we just put a couple of cones out because we're a little bit near the junction, not too bad. I'm just going to put the park brake on the trailer a little bit. So we take the yellow Susie out and just power it out. Then I can um, un uncouple it and uh, pull the unit away from the trailer. Gonna pull the yellow Susie line out. Here we go. Leave it off that side now. All right. Take the trailer brake off. There we go. We're just gonna power it out now. It has got some load on the trailer. I don't think it's fully loaded, maybe half. Didn't feel particularly heavy, but there's some on there. Right, just powering it out onto the boom. So just put a couple of cones out. Give us a little bit of cover. And that's where we're going to end up, uh, just across the road with the unit. Yeah, that's fine for now. Right, let's put the thing, put the trailer brake on. So the blue hairline can stay on because that's supplying the unit so we can adjust the suspension up and down. All right, let's take the emergency red Susie off now for the trailer. So I'm going to leave me uh, pull this trailer board on. So I've got my hazard lights on that. So 
to leave that on there to the last minute till he's hitched up. What's happened here? They're going to tangle, they will. That's it. I'm down here for now. Right. Right. Gonna pull a pin on the trailer and get that. Connected. There she goes. Drop the suspension down a little bit in a sec. down a bit before we uh, pull it out all the way. But there's a the lights on here for a sec. Lift that middle axle up, it turns a bit easier with that out of the way. The shear lift is that that middle one? Yeah, she's lifting. That's the fridge kicking in, still got some uh, produce in there. We need to keep it at temperature. Uh. So we're all clear here. I'm probably going to wait under here till he's ready with the unit. I'm not sure, sure uh, where all the load is the tray on, on the trailer. Might have more load at the front and the back, but say for now, we're going to sit underneath for it and let him bring the unit out to us. And we go from there. Thanks very much for watching so far. I'll just film the last little bit maybe, if I can. Right. We're going through it now. So, so it's all unhitched, I'm just going to pull forward and let the driver get in between me and the trailer so we can get that hitched up. I can easy spin round on this uh, junction. Uh, is he ready to go? Yep, he's ready to go. Sorry about the noise, which is important thing is to get clear, give him room to get in. There we go, just give him the okay to come. He's obviously waiting for the lights. There he goes now. Probably spinning this little side turn in there. Right. Just hitching up there now to the trailer. 
my remote back and I'll probably just spin around this little turn in here once the lights change so that the traffic will stop and get it in the yard just in case it breaks down again so I'll let him go because I've got my cones on my traffic cones are behind the trailer so that's the other M MAN unit that's been fixed oh well perhaps it was in for inspection not quite sure but the driver's taking the trailer away now and uh, so just got to get that nice chap just got to get the unit uh, back into my ends yes all you need to do is just reverse back a little bit and uh, make the turning or I could turn around in there I think we'll be alright just going back with them lights just got just creep back there got the hazards on and uh, yeah and don't go back too far do it nice and steady back a little bit further just to there not too much more a little bit near the curb I just wanted to get there we go that would do us right here we go on the gates now probably go straight up actually and I'll drop it it does drive a little bit all right here we are put the half shaft back in and jobs is gone oh. we go we've got her in the dealership now so just gonna refit this half shaft you see when, once you put a bit of rag in the hallway don't leak around the sides this is a bank of uh, air points and I believe over to me right this is uh, the air point that um, bypasses electric handbrakes if you put an airline into there that knocks the handbrake rather than uh, taking it off uh, manually like we did in the cab right thanks very much for watching for now until next time thank you